Welcome to Audio Able, an extension of our blog at Able United. We know there are a lot of resources available, and navigating them can be overwhelming. So we created this series to help you. We'll take a deeper dive into the important issues and topics affecting the disability community. We'll also get to hear from guest speakers who serve or represent individuals with varying disabilities and experts on available resources. We hope you'll spend some time with us to listen in. Now, let's get right to it. Welcome back to another episode of Audio Able, where we dive into the world of financial empowerment and success stories within the disability community. I am one of your hosts and an Able United spokesperson, Sam Edinger May. If you're viewing this video from our YouTube channel, I'm conducting today's episode in my home office. I'm wearing a navy blue shirt. I have black headphones on and I'm speaking into a microphone. In today's episode, we'll be answering the question, what are alternative pathways to education for the, dis for the disability community? We'll be diving into the importance of career and technical education, also known as CTE programs, for individuals with disabilities and exploring the ways in which these programs can be a catalyst for an individual's success. Not only will we gain valuable insights into the numerous benefits of CTE programs, but we'll also examine how they intertwine with ABLE accounts, empowering individuals with disabilities to reach their full potential. Today, we have the privilege of sitting down with a true champion of career and technical education, Chancellor Kevin O'Farrell from the Florida Department of Education's Division of Career and Adult Education. Chancellor O'Farrell, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Sam. It's good to be with you uh, today. Awesome. Thank you. So now you've been at the forefront of promoting empowering educational opportunities throughout your career. Can you start off by giving us an overview of what exactly CT programs are? Absolutely. And, and Sam, again, thanks for having us today here on Audio Able. I'm really excited to be able to share with you, I think, some really uh, exciting different opportunities that students can have. And, you know, when we talk about career and technical education programs, they really are a vital component of our education system and our overall workforce system. They're designed to prepare individuals with the practical skills, knowledge, and competencies that they need to be in specific uh, career fields. You know, unlike traditional academic programs, uh, CTE programs focus and have a strong hands-on learning component within them. They offer a wide variety of training options for students. And here in Florida, we have 17 career pathways uh, in industries as diverse as healthcare and manufacturing, transportation and logistics, hospitality, information technology, and so many more. And each of these programs are really, again, designed to equip those students with the skills that they need in order to gain the employment in the occupations that are in demand in today's job market. And so as a result, graduates are well prepared to step into the workforce immediately or to pursue further education in their particular chosen area or field. CTE really does unlock the door of opportunity for students. Now, can you share with us what initiatives are, are available through your work with CTE programs and perhaps how they may address the needs and aspirations of individuals with disabilities? Absolutely. This is a great question, Sam. You know, here in Florida, we have what is called our Get There campaign. And Get There is really our initiative that helps to promote CTE programs that also recognize the unique challenges that are faced by individuals with disabilities in accessing career development opportunities. Remember, CTE programs are designed for everyone and they can be easily accessed by individuals with disabilities. You know, our local institutions like our Florida College System institutions, our post-secondary uh, technical colleges and technical centers and our school districts all have resources to help students be successful regardless of their disability in their chosen program of study. And there are dedicated support services and resources available that can really offer that personalized guidance uh, for individuals with disabilities and CTE programs. And, and this really is so that, you know, it, it ensures that everyone receives the necessary accommodations and the assistance so that they can fully participate in career development programs. You know, we here at the department, we actively collaborate with disability organizations, vocational rehab agencies, 
and other stakeholders to, to create a cohesive support network for individuals with disabilities, with, with the goal of helping to bridge that gap between education and workforce sectors, you know, coming together to open those doors uh, to employment and career advancement. You know, another innovative educational pathway that's available is the registered apprenticeship pathway. You know, registered apprenticeships and pre-apprenticeship programs really are designed to help job seekers with disabilities gain valuable on-the-job training and experience. And while doing so, they're gaining that hands-on experience and earning a wage and securing competitive industry certifications that really help them in their particular chosen career. Apprentice Florida, our website uh, for apprenticeships and pre-apprenticeships really serves as a conduit and a hub in fostering the opportunities uh, that businesses have in establishing a registered apprenticeship program and by educating job seekers about pursuing career opportunities through apprenticeships. You know, a great example recently is the Florida Department of Education's Division of Blind Services that established a web accessibility specialist uh, registered apprenticeship program just uh, last year. And it provides uh, the opportunity uh, to showcase how apprenticeships can support individuals with disabilities. So the program creates an employment opportunity for the individual who has a visual impairment, but also provides them training on how to ensure that website accessibility for all people with disabilities is something that can really uh, take root. So we're excited about those kinds of examples and initiatives that we have here uh, at the department. Absolutely. Yeah, it's great to know that these resources are available for everyone, including the disability community. Now, I also want to highlight to our listeners today that as you're investigating if CTE programs or apprenticeships are right for you, remember that ABLE United uh, account holders can use the funds that they save tax-free on education expenses. So this is just one of many qualified disability expenses. Now, Chancellor O'Farrell, can you share some success stories of individuals with disabilities who have benefited from DCT programs? Absolutely, Sam. This is one of the things I, I love to talk about the, the most. In fact, one of my favorite stories is about a student who was at Wakulla High School. His name was Edgar. And Edgar was diagnosed with hearing loss in the third grade. And he did not allow that really to be a barrier for him. Instead, he was able to earn three certifications, three certifications in automotive service technology, safety uh, certification, uh, steering suspension, and electrical. And in doing so, he did this while he was still in high school, That's which awesome. means he, he didn't have to pay for any classes, right, until uh, he was finished with that, uh, that high school experience and went on to a technical school. And it was a perfect way for Edgar to gain hands-on experience and to sure, and ensure that this was the right path for him. Now, his goal is to become an entrepreneur and to open his own shop, and we can't wait for him to do that. I had the privilege of spending some great time with Edgar uh, earlier, and it's just a really incredible story to see how disabilities are not denials, right? But there are opportunities in the CTE space to really pursue those dreams and accomplish those goals. Absolutely. Yeah, that's such an amazing story. And, um, you know, we always love closing with this with this question. So if, if listeners were to take one thing away from our conversation today, what would it be? That is a great question, Sam. If there's one thing that I would want listeners to take away, and that is you can do it. CTE programs, they are fast, they are affordable, and they prepare you for a high wage in-demand job. And let me tell you, not only can you do it, but there are resources that are designed to help you be successful in that chosen program of study. Don't let what might be an obstacle stop you from pursuing your dreams and really having a great and rewarding career. And CTE can help you get there. Now, Chancellor O'Farrell, it's been an absolute pleasure to sit down with you today for another episode of Audio Able. We hope our, our listeners learned something new. Uh, for more information on all of the incredible resources that Get There, Future of Work Florida, and Apprentice Florida have to offer, visit gettherefl.com and apprenticeflorida.com. We'll see you next time. Well, that's it for now. Have topics you'd like us to address? Interested in sharing a resource? Drop us a line at info at ableunited.com. Thanks for listening in and we'll catch you next time on Audio Able.